Hey everyone, Spooky Matt here, and welcome back to Alien Isolation, the next installment of it anyway. Um, we might get attacked by an alien here, I don't know. I don't know if these rooms are actually safe or not, but we were in the midst of uh, playing hide-and-seek with the alien here. Oh, what's this? Oh, point of interest. Yeah, we need to get to the rooms on Dr. Morley's round. So I'm sure the alien, maybe this is a hallway the alien can't attack us in because it is just a long narrow hallway and maybe he can attack us again here. Or she, excuse me. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, we're going to go see if we can find, what is it? I think we're looking for Dr. Morley's key card still maybe? Um, we found a password to access this area. We, might, we may be looking for his body is what it is. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, uh, what is it, Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday, October 23rd. I'm officially on vacation. Really excited. It's going to be amazing. Um, there's only going to be one bad thing about my vacation, and it's actually early tomorrow morning. <laughs> So kind of tonight as well, because I have to wake up early tomorrow morning. I have a doctor appointment at 7 a.m., so that's cool. Uh, I was debating even doing a uh, recording because of that, but you know what? I'm going to do it. 8.45 at night. We can knock it out in about an hour or so. And yeah, let's get going here. I should mention I am actually very excited in a way for my doctor appointment because I'm going to get something looked at that's been bothering me for quite a while. Not my Crohn's, but something else that, I don't know, doesn't really need to be stated. Ooh, revolver ammo, hell yeah. Yeah, that's right, I kind of just ran in here because I was panicking. Pipe bomb. What? What? Oh, this is like a... Oh, no, I haven't... Okay, I've never had a pipe bomb. Never mind. Well, let's make it. So what's it say about the pipe bomb? The pipe bomb is an explosive device which detonates on impact. It is lethal to humans and non-industrial synthetics. When placed as an explosive trap, it will trigger when enemies are near. Okay. So this will actually kill in addition to the uh, flipping uh, revolver that I have. Okay, and remember, hold down, right click to aim revolver. God, that was embarrassing. If you don't remember, I think from the last installment, maybe the one before that even, I'm actually gonna save again now that I got the blueprint. Um, if you'll remember from the last installment or the one before that, I was <laughs> struggling to fire my gun because I forgot you needed to hold down right click to actually get one of your items in its ready position to use. I think the only thing you don't need to hold down right click for might be like the, the healing. I might as well see. Oh, I found a hidden room. See, I can feel like I can hear the alien moving around. Again, apologies if I don't talk, but... I'm not sure yet if the alien can hear me when I'm talking to you guys just over my microphone. Um, so if I hear movement, I might get quiet for a bit. So just immerse yourself in the gameplay like I am. Oh, this looks great. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's actually really nice. I wonder if I can unlock something over here. Ah, that's where we need the key card. <laughs> Everyone 
just starving. It's weird, I can hear the alien. But he's not showing up on my map. Which I guess that's a little worrying, right? What is it having me use here? I don't even know. Well. Oh boy. <laughs> really wants me to search through all these. Investigate the rooms on Morley's rounds. Oh boy. This is just what I flippin' wanted. I feel like there might be a hidden thing through here. Let's take a look. Don't kill me. God damn it. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> Hiding is only ever a temporary solution. How was I supposed to even know it was in there? Or did it see me go in and it's like, oh, I'm going to get him now? Could have been any of those things. Well, that's why I'm glad I saved. Um, that's why I'm glad I saved uh, after picking up the blueprints. Like, if I die, I don't want to have to do that again. just locked okay yeah this is obviously like a a connecting area and yeah that just shut me up <laughs> it's not just a connecting area the alien can come into that hallway for Pete's sake well this is gonna be a fun playthrough huh
Well, that's good. Away you go. Pretty sure I want to be going this way now. Yeah, Dr. Coolman is... yeah. I know where I'm going. In here. Let's save again. Okay, perfect. Sorry, that wasn't very much talking there, but holy shit, I mean, I died to the alien, what, two or three times in a row? I wasn't going to do it again. Okay. Um, yeah, these are locked. Does that mean... I don't know. Well, whatever. Yo, Daniel bro. Daniel Coleman, you knew that thing was here! Now, that's unfair. I thought it might be there. There's a difference. Now, the passcode. 1702, okay? Now let's get down to the dispensary. Of course, of course. A promise is a promise. I'm sorry for putting you through this. I'm going to step into the other room to punch the code in and prime the elevator. Then we can use the key card to take the elevator down. I hope you die. There. I'll collect my things and we can leave. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Cool. <laughs> I'll collect my things and then we can leave. <laughs> Oh, will we? Will we, Dr. Coleman? Okay, I didn't realize I could just show up there. Bullshit. Oh, I'm an idiot. Here it is. Push the button. Oh, now do I hit it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, it's locked. Key card and then we can go down. Complete the fifth mission. Okay, so this game is broken up into missions. I get it. Find a trauma kit. Do I really want to? I guess, yeah, I do like Samuelson Taylor. I hear the alien still. Boo.
Well, I can hear it, but I don't, I don't know, I don't see it anywhere. What is that? Stun baton. That's pretty badass. Take that. Cool. What's this? Ah. Personal, urgent martial investigation. Frank, I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here that's part of a martial investigation. Female, late 30s, chest wound. I have no idea how long Marshal Waits will want to keep her up here, but this is a highly sensitive situation. I'm going to need your discretion, and I'll also need you to trust me on this one. Come see me in my office. Lingard, Senior Medical Officer. Environmental Controls. Frank, your concern about San Cristobal's lockdown has been noted, but I assure you an evacuation is 100% necessary and only a temporary measure. My priority is the welfare of the living, while you seem to be more preoccupied with the dead. If you're worried about power fluctuations, morgue temperature, and the condition of the corpses, just adjust the coolant delivery system. Just get out of there ASAP, Lingard. Ooh, activate cooling system. Warning, hydrogen cylinder unit U6 not found. Cold room inaccessible due to extreme temperature. Okay. Interesting. Restore power where? Is there a switch here that I just didn't see? Oh, there we go. Try the skin. Hmm. Is there a big old coolant pack somewhere? We'll never know. That could be why the alien can't bother me right now, is because I have to unlock the way so that it can actually get in. <laughs> oh, there we go. One of you guys gonna wake up and try and attack me? I mean, that just seems like something you do. Yeah, I got a pack of coolant. All right, let's do this again.
Ah, I have to rewire now. I get it. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. Okay, let's save again here. Hopefully not get killed by the alien. No attention to that. <laughs> what the fuck? It's just standing there. Oh my god, this game. Investigate Lingard's office. How do I get to Lingard's office? I gotta figure that out. Nice family photo. Yeah. What the fuck? Like, don't try to outrun the alien. Yeah, I wasn't trying to. Uh, so what are you supposed to do there? <laughs> Is that just like a dead end? Don't go this way.
I don't even know if it can grab me here or not. went in a dead end that last time. Gonna go up in the vent. Let's look at the map now that we found that. Oh, I'm flipping in her office. Okay. <laughs> God. Oh, boy. I want to. I want to stay. I have been, Weird. I have been placed under duress with regards to my patient zero. What? And Ransom, Season's head of operations, he he made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God. That woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Are you talking about the face hugger? Search operating theater for trauma kit. Okay, so I gotta go out to the right, the security desk, I'm guessing. The alien right there. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so I have to circle around now. That's the point of that happening. Good to know. Just kill me. God, I could I could have swore I heard it go up into the vent. <laughs> All right, how far is it gonna take me back? Oh my god. Sorry for this, everyone. Okay, let's see if we can skip this. 
This is Lingard. See if your medical. There we go. Okay, so we just need to circle around now. So there's that ladder symbol right there. I just need to basically circle around, go in here. I'm guessing there's a way from here to get in here, or I can just, maybe I'll be able to go straight in there. Again, I apologize for how much of a pain in the butt this is. This is why I think this game didn't get like amazing reviews. It got really good reviews, but this is one of the flaws about it is if you died, you just get to do it all over again. There's no auto save, so I don't know. Anyway. It says it's nearby. Okay, we just want to get all the way around here. Holy shit, what the fuck are the chances of that? It should have killed me. It saw my butt. God damn it. I didn't hold right mouse button quick enough, apparently. Okay, well that's something new. Okay, I'm not gonna sprint um, if the alien does its thing. I think I'm okay here. I think it's just bonking around. Can't really do anything there. Oh, sorry about this, guys. This could be the entire playthrough here. It's just trying to get through this bitch. Thank you. 
Yeah, it really is the case if you don't run, the alien will leave you alone. This is Lingard. Seems to matter. This seems like a better spot than that locker I'd been hiding in, so let's make this work here and let's be smart. It says he's around somewhere. Oh really? I can't let go of my breath even then? I have to literally wait till he leaves? <laughs> uh, is it too early to say I'm not a fan of this game now? <laughs> no, that's, that's not right. It's just, I suck at stealth games and, you know. I'm also learning about all the different flippin' quirks about this game. Oh my god. Just kill me. What the fuck, man? <laughs> uh I guess it's I guess I'm really struggling to tell when he goes into event or comes out of event. <laughs> See, that sounded like him going out of, or coming out of a vent.
that's the way I need to go. Oh boy, yay. See, to me, this isn't good game design when you have to keep repeating this shit. This is Lynn. Fuck! Yeah, here's the explosion of that pipe for sure. Definitely right there. I feel like if I can just make it to where it says security desk, I can fucking. There's probably a save point or something. God damn it. I could have swore I heard him go into a vent. That's the only reason I left right there, is I could have swore I heard him go into a vent. So. Alright, we're going to try something new. We are absolutely going to try something new and see what happens. This is really hard. I mean, it's a cramped area. There's not really many places for me to go.
That was probably my chance. Just standing there. Shit, okay. We're back to where we made it before. My plan to just fucking leave that room right away worked. I was freaked out about that from way earlier in this installment because the alien showed up right by the fire right when it went off the first time it ever did. The first time the fire went off. But I've realized since then, I don't know if it was a bug or not, but he doesn't show up right away, so that's what I was going for.
Oh my fucking god. It was right here. Oh, I would have felt so bad if we hadn't made any progress through this last part of the installment. God. Oh fuck, okay. Saving data. to go. What's this? Passcode lock. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? Not as much as your old friend here, and I bet he wouldn't be his understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. <laughs> Let me go into um Old friend. Morley, I need you out of medical. We've set up shop in the habitation tower. People are fighting over supplies. We've got more injuries coming in than we have the meds to deal with them, and my team is depleted to say the least. I don't know how you'll break the lockdown, but if you need to access San Cristobal's central wards, I'll have to key card in the security locker. 2505. Hell yeah. Uh, San Cristobal lockdown. San Cristobal Medical has been locked down by the Colonial Marshals until further notice. Sebastopol's medical team are setting up field hospitals throughout Sebastopol to deal with the ongoing crisis. Locations to follow. Marshal waits. Uh, urgent. Marshal investigation. Frank, I need to talk to you. I've got a body up here that's part of a marshal investigation. Female, late 30s, chest wound. I have no idea how long Marshal Waits will want to keep her up here, but this is a highly sensitive situation. I'm going to need your discretion. I'll also need you to trust me on this one. Come see me in my office. Oh, I read about this earlier. Yeah. Okay. Message for Lingard on a return. I've prepped the patients in the trauma ward for transportation as best I can before Waits locks the place down. Uh, I'm going upstairs to the psychiatric ward to make sure there are no stragglers. The dispensary is now empty. Everything San Cristobal has to offer in terms of first aid and medicine is with you or else we're on station. I'm hoping you'll bring back good news. 2505. <laughs> Okay, let's try to get to this new area and then we'll call it an installment here. Okay. Hmm. They don't really know where to go from here. That's the annoying thing.
hell in here, Samuels? sure where to go right now. Cristobal Medical Reception. So I gotta go down this hallway maybe? I have no idea. I'll assume so. Reception's a no-go. I can't get out. That's the only way through. Ripley, this is a public hospital. There has to be an evacuation procedure. Lindbergh. After the incident, the marshals want us to rope off medical. 
They're bringing in a team to find whatever it was the patient was carrying. I told them it was fast, but they're convinced they can trap it. They've got nets. I'll set up a temporary medical center outside. You're in charge for now. Don't let Coleman Sweet talk his way in. The last thing we need is him self-medicating with more... ...pressure weights around. Please let me save. Oh my god. Holy shit. We did it. Again, sorry for no talking, but we fucking did it. Okay. This is great. Sweet. Okay. Initiate San Cristobal medical evacuation procedures. I'm not sure what this is all going to involve. I've got a feeling I'm probably going to have to go to, like, the ambulance bay or something like that. Like, I'm not going to be able to just do something in here. That's that's just my belief. But my, oh my, I am just so glad for my sake and for yours, the viewer, that we got out of this stupid little circular hallway area. Man, that was rough. At least these big areas, there's a lot of places to hide, tables to hide under. You know, you're not just, like, in, in here, if you encounter the alien in a hallway, it's like, well, just kill me. I can't run, so. Anyway, glad we made it here. We'll be hopefully doing this tomorrow. Hopefully I won't be too tired. Um, yeah, I gotta wake up at like 6 a.m., but tis what it is. I can also hear uh, my parents' dog, Brandy, barking a little bit, which I don't want her doing at night, so probably time to go put her to bed. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this installment, uh, at least once we got by the, <laughs> the circular hallway of death. Um, but yeah, hope to see you for the next one. And again, hopefully that'll be tomorrow and we get to do one every day for the entirety of my week and a half vacation. Uh, until next time, everyone. Bye for now.